Oh, okay. This is a new camera. My viewfinder is not off to the side, and I feel like I need a little poster reminding me to look straight ahead instead of over here. Straight ahead. Welcome to my 2018 book haul. So I read a lot of books in 2018. I did a 50 book challenge and I was inspired to do this by Hannah Witten who does a 50 book challenge every year I believe. And as of filming this I still have like two more books to read in order to round it out but I have roughly two, two and a half weeks left to do so so I'm not particularly worried about making my goal. Either way, 48 books in a year, not bad. Whew. So I thought it'd be fun to go through and look at some of my favorite books that I read throughout the year and some of the newer things that I discovered and really loved and been recommending to people and kind of look into what I'm looking forward into reading in 2019. So let's get started. So I got introduced to a bunch of really good series this year, either just from reading reviews online or other people recommending me or just wandering through Powell Books in Portland. If you've never been there, it is the holy grail of bookstores for anybody who loves bookstores. Like the downtown flagship store is like this four story monstrosity bookstore with ev just everything. It is my heaven. Whew. So. One of the first series that I got really, really into is the Cormorant Strike novels. So the first one is Cuckoo's Calling, and then the Silkworm called Career of Evil and Lethal White. So these three had been out for a while, and then this one that I have hugely in Hardbound is a little newer. It is a crime thriller series, so I really love that stuff. I particularly love reading things like this in the summer because they're just so gripping and easy and they're like, they feel like good vacation books to me. And it's written by Robert Galarath, as most people probably know now has been outed. That is actually JK Rowling. So I totally understand why she wrote it under a different name though. It is a really good series, but it's absolutely nothing like Harry Potter. It's a totally different genre. And well, I loved it and I read like each book in about a day, similar to when I first started the Harry Potter series. It, it's good to come into it without the Harry Potter expectations because there's no Harry Potter universe stuff in here. It's its, its own thing. Another series that I got really, really into this year is the uh, Darker Shades of Magic series. So it is a three book series by V.E. Schwab. And I got really into it because I was walking around my bookstore and I saw this cover and I thought that looks good. So I picked this one up and I gave it a shot and I liked it so much. I immediately went out and got the next two and I've been recommending it to people ever since. So it's a darker shade of magic, a gathering of shadows and a conjuring of light. And it all takes place in London's. If you read it, you'll know why I put a z on the end of that and deals with magic and magicians and stuff like that. Really good. I liked this series so much that I went out and I got D.E. Schwab's other series. She also writes young adult novels under the name Victoria Schwab and I've read one of those but uh, her other adult book series is Vicious the second one's Vengeful but these ones deal more with like superhero superpower type stuff and it is also really good. I read the first one just so fast and the second one was good as well, but I think I really, really liked the first one. Along the lines of fiction books that I really, really liked this year, I read The Star Wars Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. I've never read any of these Star Wars books. I'm a fan of the movies and the Lego sets and I, I love Star Wars, I grew up watching it. I, I never read any of the books before, but my boyfriend's really, really into them. So he got me this book because uh, he thought it would be a really good introductory into the Star Wars written genre. And I really liked it. It takes place over the course of the original movie, follows kind of like background characters and just a different side of the story and life and the things that were going on 
during that time period in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, she has some other books. I'll probably read more of Claudia Gray's Star Wars stuff in the coming year because I really liked this one. I'm a big fan of a really good biography. So one of my favorite ones I read this year was Lily Collins Unfiltered. I love Lily Collins. Not only do I just like her as an actress and I follow her on Instagram because she is funny and witty and amazing, but this book is so good for anybody who deals with just coming of age stuff, especially as a woman. She talks a lot about body image issues and her trials with eating disorders and relationship stuff and it is so good and it's something that I wish had been around when I was like 17 and 18 years old because it would have just been like such a valuable book to have read but loved it. Also in the biography genre I read Anna Kana's So Much I Want to Tell You. This is a book that is, deals a lot with the death of her sister. So if you don't know who she is, she's a major YouTube star and she talks a lot pretty openly about her sister's suicide and how that has affected her. And this is just a really, really good book with some really tough subject matter, but very, very good and definitely worth picking up and reading along the YouTube line of stuff. I also read Hannah Witten's Doing It. This is the UK cover. The US cover is black. So if you're in the US and you're ordering it, it will come up with a different cover than this one. This is uh, all about sex stuff. Hannah Winton is a sex positive YouTuber and she talks a lot about just background information and just useful stuff. Again, another book that I kind of wish was around when I was like 16, 17. Would have been really cool, but still good read as an adult. And also, not a YouTuber, but similar to the biography line, I read David Sedaris' Calypso. This was one of my book club picks. If you don't know, I have a book club that is on my website. I will link it down below. So we have monthly meetups if you are in Portland. If you don't live in Portland, Oregon, that's okay. You can still participate with discussions online on the book club section of my website, or you can just browse it for book ideas. So David Sedaris Calypso is one of my favorite books that I read this year. I loved it. I love his writing style. He, it's just so good. I've read everything that he has written. I just love it. This one is a little different than some of his past books. A lot of his past books deal with stories from growing up and family. And this one deals a lot with stories and family with everybody as adults and like older adults, but it is still somehow so relatable even though I'm only like in my thirties, early thirties. Also in the nonfiction genre, I read I'll Be Gone in the Dark this year by Michelle McNamara. It is so well written and it is so gripping if you like true crime. This is, I love true crime and I listen to like the My Favorite Murder podcast and other things like that. But this was the first book that I read that dealt with kind of like crime thriller stuff that was also a true story. It follows the Golden State Killer case and it was a really amazing book to pick up when I did because I was about halfway through it when they actually caught the Golden State Killer. So it was just really cool timing and just a really, really good book. And even though we now know who the Golden State Killer is, if you're into true crime, do read this book. It is so good. A random book that I got that I ended up really, really liking is How to Be a Parisian Wherever You Are, Love Style and Bad Habits. And this is a collab between Anne Barres, Annie Barres, Audrey Dewan, Caroline D. Margaret, and Sophie Moss. So each one kind of like writes different little sections in it. And it is so funny and is kind of pokes fun at a lot of Parisian French women stereotypes. So a lot of those books are like, eat like a French person, parent like a French person. Um, it pick, pokes a ton of fun at that genre, but is so funny and so good and written very tongue in cheek. Uh, I really, really, really liked it. I also read Dan Harris's Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics. And this book was 
really impactful for me. I used to always try to meditate. I was never very good at meditating. I always felt like I was meditating incorrectly. And this just really, really helped change my thoughts towards meditation and improve my meditation practice, which is really a big part of my self care. So I was drinking coffee. Those are some of my favorites um, that I had read. For the last of my books, I am literally like 10 pages away from finishing The Princess Diaries by Carrie Fisher. Oh my God, this is so good. You can just hear her voice. It kind of makes me want to tear up because rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. She was so amazing. And this actual has clips from the diaries that she kept of the very first Star Wars movie and kind of goes over some of like her background and that period of time where she kind of went from being a nobody to a somebody and it's it's really really good so that's book number 48 that i've read this year and then i'll be finishing up with uh an unkindness of magicians i don't know very much about this book let's see the unseen world of wealthy and literary power magicians in New York City prides itself on remaining invisible. Every 20 years vying for power and standing during the turning, the heads of magical houses elect a champion, a family member, or a magician for hire and begin a series of duels. It looked really, really good. So I'm going to give this one a try. And the other book I'm going to be reading is Educated, a memoir. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. This book is by Tara Westover and it talks kind of about her journey with education and her background and how like the first time she actually went to school, she was 17. I am really looking forward to reading this one. That is all of my top picks from 2018 and what I'm going to be reading to finish out the year and head into 2019. So if you have any book recommendations or any thoughts on any of the books that I've mentioned, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing people's book recommendations. I will put links to these books down in the description. I am uh, going to be posting new YouTube videos. Wednesdays and Sundays so every Wednesday every other Sunday probably and you can hit the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss out on any of that bye